Hello, my name is Ariel Walter, and thank you for your interest in the Carner Blue Butterfly, the endangered small butterfly with a large impact. So first of all, the Carner Blue Butterfly has quite the history with New York State. It was originally identified in the 1800s in a place called Carner, New York, which is quite close to Albany, New York, and it's a one-inch butterfly that actually has a great impact on New York State. And today I'm going to share with you about how the Pine Barrens and this little butterfly interact to not only create a great habitat within the Pine Barrens, but also how they influence other habitats outside of the Pine Barrens. So first let's explore what is a Pine Barren. A Pine Barren is a type of an ecosystem a habitat which has a lot of pine trees, and they also have a lot of wildfires. This makes the soil very active or um, very much used to having a different soil type than, say, your typical forest. It's very disturbed, and it tends to be a bit drier. So we see certain plants there, like lupin, we also see some blazing star, wild Virginia strawberry, a whole bunch of different types of plants that really actually go with that habitat. So when we're looking at the Pine Barrens, another interesting feature is that they are basically a water filtration system. So in nature, you have a lot of wildlife that's even outside the Pine Barrens, which need fresh water, streams, groundwater, um, rivers, wetlands, lots of different types of water sources come from these pine barren filtration systems. So you're not only impacting the animals that live within the pine barrens, but also the animals that live outside of the pine barrens in a natural habitat. So first of all, the Carner Blue Butterfly life cycle. It's born as, or it's actually started as an egg, and then it's born into its larval stage, which is caterpillar. And these caterpillars let off secretions. They have a mutualistic relationship with ants due to their sugar secretions. The caterpillars actually give off sugar secretions, and then the ants come and eat these sugar secretions, and they take care of the caterpillars. However, the caterpillars just can't live on any type of plant. They need lupin, which is specific to pine barren habitats. They like that dry habitat that's really been disturbed by wildfires. So going on, we go ahead and we can explore the Carner Blue adult. And the adult is a great pollinator for the pine barrens. So a couple of the plants I mentioned earlier, such as um, wild Virginia strawberry, butterfly weed, leafy splurge, blazing star, New Jersey tea are all plants that this little butterfly pollinates. So we're seeing that the pine barrens are decreasing. The butterflies are decreasing. They've been endangered since 1992. So we are seeing a correlation between these because the butterflies are actually pollinating plants that are really specific to pine barrens and pine barren ecosystems in their adult life. However, since we're losing pine barren habitat, they're also not able to come to adulthood because we're losing a lot of the lupin and whatnot where the caterpillars would normally mature, be able to survive to maturity. And so the pine barrens are actually decreasing and we're also seeing a decrease in the butterfly, which is really happening more than just in New York. It's also happening in surrounding states as well. But New York has made a conservation effort in recent years at the Albany Pine Bush Preserve. And they actually started out with only a couple hundred butterflies and they were able to increase the population to 16,000. However, this isn't really enough butterflies in order to really preserve the pine barrens and to increase the numbers of the pine barren habitat for what they used to be, which is really what nature needs in order for wildlife to have fresh water. So we can increase our conservation efforts 
to be not only in Albany, but maybe in other places in New York State where there were originally pine barrens. Albany is a place that was very common to the pine barren habitat, so maybe we can actually expand the preserve there. There's also a possibility of planting more lupin. So lupin is um, a com common garden seed that we can plant to possibly help butterfly populations. And um, thank you for your interest in the Carner Blue Butterfly, an amazing little butterfly that's only one inch big and has a great impact on New York State.